Welcome everyone. Blight Nation, what is good? Ian and Vito, and soon to be joined by Liz, which you'll be catching in the live stream. Yeah, soon. Yup, 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 yup. But Ian and Vito, we're back again with another black and white reactions. For, yes, another for day, you guys. another reaction, another grind, another moment. Now you guys are gonna see this same intro repeated a lot over this week. Yeah, so this new. Yeah, so this is gonna be repeated in a lot of videos. So what we're really doing is we're taking a lot of the videos from the um, live stream and we're just cutting up and we're putting them out. So pretty much most of our videos for this week are already done. If you uh, want to go, uh, yeah. we got five hour live. If you want to catch it, exactly, feel free. So like if you see editing and transitioning throughout the video, that's why. We're just cutting it up and then putting out the videos for people who missed the live. Right. So, so definitely if you want to catch everything in the entirety, yep. go catch the live. If not, you guys will catch this nice little snippet from yep. one of our reactions that we did. So right after this, it'll transition right to a video. Mm -hmm. And after that, we'll have a transition of the end of the video. And then ta-da. So enjoy the reaction, guys. Later, y'all. But are we ready for these bars, y'all? I'm not sure. It's Emma Nas. We've been waiting 20 goddamn years for this. Bro, bro. <laughs> this is 20 years in the making, man. You ready, Liz? Yeah. You ready, Vito? I was taking a sip, sip, sip from my shot. I'm kind of I'm not explaining it the best. I know. It's all right. Just, uh, just ride with us, guys. Just ride with us. What's up, Marina? What's up? All right, we ready? Let's do it. Let's hit this. Respectfully. And let us know if it's too loud. Yes. Bucket on low like Eric and Parrish Closed cats can flow, all you niggas get dead They don't give you one single rose Why you can smell it, so I pick from my own guard Wanna go out with my guard Damn. My guard, father, Greg They don't give you one single rose While you can smell it no. Nah Nah, see, I when, when, when it first came out, I listened to it, but I'm gonna catch shit that I didn't get on my right. first listen. No, so you were too so excited for it. I was, I was, y'all, I was jumping in my room, y'all. I was, I was happy. And I'm gonna scream, Dad, now's it now. Oh, Dad, now's it now. I put, I shut my door, I put the headphones on. I, bro, I was just listening to this playing 2K. Honestly, the only okay. thing bigger than Nas and M would be Biggie and M or Tupac and M. Bro, oh, quite honestly, that's yeah. that's yeah. if we could have had that, yeah. man. This is the closest Ooh. thing we're gonna get to something like For that. For real. Eric and Parrish, close cast can flow, all you niggas get dead. They don't give you one single rose, why you can smell it, so I pick from my own guard. Wanna go out with my garden like Godfather, grandkids in a rock while I got over the block trauma. So what you saying, nigga, you got to chill. Thinking you the truth, really you not for real. Back to back with it, the hottest shit out of here. Remix, ADD, we back in business. Ain't nobody fucking with us, come to your senses. We the second coming, the guards up in the witness. Piece of shit flying your head like Mike Pence. Mafia table next to the kitchen. Bro, that's just from that. That's to see a lot of people from this era don't understand. Like Nas is from that era of yeah. rap. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like I've, if you watch document, like document um, mints about Nas, like he was a street rapper that he's honestly one of the most lyrical street rappers that's ever done it. He's probably the most lyrical street rapper. That's yeah. Ever done it. Yeah. The way that he came up and the way he came about it. Yeah. Yep. Mm. I mean. <laughs> pressing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm caught. Listen, man. Listen. <laughs> Good. Even EPD. <sighs> we at the mafia table next to the. That's in every yeah. mafia movie. Because you know, you know, that's what. Because the mafia, you gotta serve them first. It, it, exactly. They got to be taken care of for every yeah. time you go by that, you got to make sure they're taken care of. Exactly. If exactly, you're sitting bro. at the mafia table for one of two reasons, you're part of the family or you're trying to get a deal done. So <laughs> <laughs> the reason you're at the mafia table. That's true. That's true. How do you know this? Yeah, let's play the music. <laughs> <laughs> we at the mafia table next to the kitchen. 
eating Michelin star, counting the million. Done. When you see the eating the Michelin star, you know what that stands for? Because Michelin star is what the best chef gets. Like Chef Randy. Oh, okay. 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 Because so okay. you're, okay. you're, okay. you're, you're getting the best food. Yeah. You're yeah. The best the chef has to offer. I feel you. I feel you on that. So okay. eating, the, eating the Michelin stars means we're getting served the best. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. That makes more sense now. Yeah. What, okay. So that that that's in, in, in itself. I let it go for the family meetings of code in Miami. Them wine bottles on Maggie, extra large. Sign up for my master class, Escobar. Feet up in next stadium at my restaurant. Tried it from AZ to Davey, she know my thoughts get crazy. My teachers, they couldn't grade me. I know some nations in Davey County got coppers in Haiti. She booked a flight to Columbia, made her body amazing. She used to post it on Tumblr. I just said, fuck up the summer shit. I don't care what you coming with me and get boy running shit. Big gold rope chains, but they flooded now. Pull up with the ghost like a honey house. Steady blood on my hands like Carrie Might walk through a cemetery to see where hip-hop is buried I said it was damaged Bro, uh, scary blood on my hands yeah, like Carrie. My walk through a the cemetery and see where hip hop is buried. That's an awesome yeah, bro. Yeah. star right there. Love it. Bro. Love it. Bro. Wait, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Bro, 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 I faked the d- <laughs> You guys, I, you guys know Carrie, that old school horror movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was one of the, was the original Ca- Carrie was scary as shit, bro. Yeah. Everybody in Carrie got what they deserve. Oh yeah. You fuck with somebody, you gonna get some, you gonna get some bad prizes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like that's bad what. Prizes, don't yeah. don't bully people. That is the ultimate bully movie, actually, of why you don't mess with them because you don't know what the quiet one's capable of. Bro. But. Oh shit! I think this is M's verse. Uh, yeah, I think we're. Oh going. God! You ready? Oh my goodness! Let me let me get some water. Let me hydrate, y'all. We gotta hydrate. Um, uh, hydrating this way. What's going on, Kevin? You ready? What up, Kevin? What up? What up, people? What up, everybody coming in? Are we ready? Good. I don't know. Let's get the bars. I'm ready. She gave steady blood on my hands like Carrie might walk through a cemetery to see where hip hop is buried. I said it was damaged, the fake is death like Mackie or Belly. You see letters and red splatter, look like sauce of spaghetti. Yeah. Sneaky yeah. movies, we're back in business, living in quick conditions. We'll give you a mission. Knock them shells like taco shells like Taco Bell, and I'm not gonna sell like that. And what's like Christmas? You don't wanna make the clock come out. Y'all yeah, should call yourself Santa. Yeah. Not a dollar real, not a single one. A quarter of a dollar bill, yeah. like a bitch in the pelican. She's on a pill. We got a bomb and shell. She never bail on me. Not even out of jail. Damn! <laughs> Everything that he does! Dude, yeah, I got no more shells <laughs> like Taco Bell. Taco. I'm not gonna fail. I got no shells like, like Christmas. Christmas. You don't want to make claws come, come out. That's beautiful. <laughs> you should call yourselves <laughs> Santa. Your selves Santa, Santa. Claus. Calling your elves, Santa. Cause none of y'all are real, nah. Not a single one, like a dollar bill, like your bitch on the pellet. She's on the pill. We got a bond and chill. chill. Never, Never bail, bail on me. me. Not, not even, even out, out of jail. jail. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, yo, quick and I, I always ask myself this question: How the hell does he come up with this? Like, he's just naturally good with it's, words. It's the way he it's, puts things together. It, it's natural. Exactly. And he's setting up stuff for later. Bro, it's it's just. This is great. I agree with Rakim said. If M wasn't a rapper, he'd be an author. Oh, he would be. He'd be a writer. He would be an author. Oh, he'd, he'd be, be a writer. He'd be a poet. Yeah. He'd be a story. No, no, no. He'll be an amazing like. Oh, he'd be an amazing like, oh, he'd be an author, author, but oh, definitely. Yeah. But he'd easy. He could. M is like the oh, rap oh, version of Stephen King. Oh my god. Yeah. Quite yes. honestly. Yeah. Yes. M is the yes. rapper yes. Stephen King. Yeah. That, that's, that, that is a hell of a comparison. Yeah. Yeah. What did I just wow. say about setting stuff up for later? Setting up the Christmas bar. Now he's going through all the freaking things. Like, yeah. Like, Rudolph, when his homies are pulling the sleigh. A lot of books <laughs> flying when I'm making it rain. Oh, God. Oh, 
God. Come on. Bro. Bro. The weed shot into Steve's darling. A pocket full of pills. Summer tiling on three smiles. Two three mollies. Here's a summer key, which reminds me of rap. Summer read, mommy. My theme saw me in peep. Always used to play that shit on the peep. All this, so please call me Big Daddy. Daddy. Cause I got the king to lean on me. Yeah, MCs, I'm beating the BITC. It's just a tortilla. It's me, I'm free of the key. I'm free of the key. This is the effects of my old neighborhood. This is the index property. It is people. She's the MPC. It's the effects of RP. I'm to do it. Next piece of weed. It's six. Shout out to DMX there. Bro. Yeah. yeah. You know. But. M just had better verse. <laughs> oh, definitely. M watched him. Yes, sir. Always. That's yo, what as you good as he is, is bro. M is just sunning everybody on the goddamn track. Dude, M don't care who you are. Do not outrun. <laughs> Yeah, and the thing is, and the thing is, it comes out naturally. Uh, it does. It does. It does. So it, it, this is he's not even. He's not even trying to over shine you or stuff no. like that. If you know it's, what I mean. He is though. M because M looks at every single track. He has to bring his best. It's the natural. He's not giving it's a natural, natural though. It's the natural it's competitor natural. in him. Yeah. He. Because if anybody is gonna get pissed off at putting the whack verse, it's gonna be M. M would be so pissed at himself if he saw himself giving whack verse. Even the Bro. weakest verse. Is still a great verse to yeah. us. Yeah. The to weakest, his yeah. eyes, is weak. For us, is Bro. great. Yeah. Yeah, for real. R. 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 P. The DMX. So. Yeah. Damn. I drank all the ink on the blank paper. And this, this shit ain't for the faint. The brains of the train kill the danger. Derange and drink all the ink on the blank paper. paper and wait till the page. Yeah. Bro, oh, God yeah. damn. Damn. Bro, like. Of course, yes. Bro. <laughs> yes, is, definitely had a better verse. Bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, like, M, M definitely had Oh, not, I don't have Nas in my. T- the reason why Nas is in my top 10, because if you listen to his albums, his storytelling is very clear. Oh, it is. That's why I like Nas. But this M song now. <laughs> he took over. This is this, this, this belong to M. Yeah. Damn. He's praying for the day he can put his name up there. He says, shout out to the golden age of hip hop. Y'all know what era Mm -hmm. that is. Real ones know it's not this era. No, it's not. No, golden age. The golden age of hip hop ended Mm -hmm. ended years ago. But dude, he's actually saying he prays that he can put his name up there with the greats. And your name been up there, bro. It's been up there. (laughs) You really been up there for like twenty years. How many songs do we listen to? All he was, I'm the greatest that did this. I'm the best to do it. Emma's sitting there, sitting there saying, no, nah, you sit there and give homage to everybody else. I'm the, I'm the greatest. I'm not even calling myself oh. the greatest. No, he's done it on tracks before. But how many times do you see the same people over and over again for get real. on the track and start off by saying they're the greatest? I just pray for the day that I'm able to say that I'm placed with the greats and my name's with the kings and the Waynes and the Jays and, and the Yays and the Drakes and the Jakes and the Jades. It's cool, Jade. The rhymes are amazing. The snazz is embracing. The gods that shout out to the golden age of hip hop. And the name of the song is EBMD. We been yep. bro. Yeah. Thirty years in this game, he still sees himself as a rookie. Yeah. He I mean, he still sees himself because he's got something to prove. Because he know. That means damn. Damn near 50 I got no fire words. still burning hot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My man is almost 50. Almost hitting the big 5-0. And you got these young rappers who can't touch him. You know how like, kind of sad that is like you 20 years old and you can't out-rap somebody who's 50? That's got to hurt a bit. 
does, but hey. Like, or, or you 18, just got you a deal. You've already got a couple hit singles. But someone play. who's 30 years older than you, you can't even, you, you don't even, you can't even sit in the same lounge area as them. And the sad part is, the older M gets, the better yeah. he's getting because the he, more knowledge that he's getting, yep, he'll be able to put together. Yep, yeah. Yep. I mean, this is... <laughs> Let's just finish this out. Yeah. I visualize what it is, not what it isn't. We at the mafia table next to the kitchen. The initial is star counting a million. Mm. Bro. Fire. Fire. Yeah, fire. Fire, fire. And fire like, bro. And I'm sure we miss stuff because it's just... Yeah, yeah. bro. M knows how to pay homage, man. Yeah. That man knows what well. respect looks like. My man, <laughs> he's still age. No, no, he's no. still look good too. Nah, nah. This yeah, I'm good. sure the lyrics were, were wrong on that too, Kevin. I'm sure we they, they didn't even get everything that he was saying. But we got the gist of it. We got the gist of it. Is our Eminem's? Is our stand here yet? I need someone to comment how Eminem is bagged because he's white. No, the guy ain't here. So. And now people can't say uh, Nas work with M. Yeah. How, really. how many times was that narrative brought up that M that Nas refused to work with them? Hey. I guess that narrative changed real quick. I mean, for real, I wish I was into U.S. rap like you guys, so I can understand your excitement. I'm just here confused. Honey, it's okay. It's okay. See, like each, hey. with each line that you come in, you're still learning. Hey, hey, exactly. Hey, honey, I was like you before, and I'm still learning. Yeah, it's all right. There's nothing wrong. M is the ultimate humble because he actually pays homage to the ones that yeah. paved the way. But I feel like deep down, he knows. As, as, Kev, as Kevin, he knows. Says, he's the goat. M knows that ain't nobody touching. Exactly. <laughs> but he's not gonna go around down the street all day saying, "I'm the greatest no, of all time." Exactly. And not touching no, me. because he he doesn't need to do that. He not, he doesn't need to put himself up there because his fans does it for him. He lets his rhyme speak for himself. Exactly, exactly. that too. He lets his art speak for himself. <laughs> it's like Jordan on the court. Mm-hmm. Like he, yep. he he lets the he just lets his, his work speak for himself. Exactly. You got you gotta, you yeah. gotta let it go. Oh, they're giving us some some requests. Oh, the 90s was definitely the yes. golden age. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed that reaction. Thanks for stopping and spending some time with us today. Well, like, comment, subscribe, blow us up. Y'all know what to be doing. Hit that notification bell. Give this a share because it does help the channel out. Hope everyone enjoyed it. And hey, we'll see y'all in the next one. Later, y'all.